Time to bat on with the world's most expensive TTO1 build. So just a quick one before we get started, a massive shout out to Gary Bohane. Um, Haley, your wife contacted me and asked me to give you a shout out because you're both celebrating your 16th wedding anniversary. So congratulations to you two. Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends once again. Thank you for stopping by. So this is part three of what I'm calling, jokingly, the world's most expensive TTO one build. Um, so there's a lot changed since the last video that I did off camera and I had a lot of problems with this, but luckily I fixed them all now. So before we go into what we're gonna do in this video, let's bring the camera over and we'll get a close up of all the things I've changed. So after the last video, um, because I had a few issue, issues with the chassis build, I decided just to cut the shell out and the wing and just get it on and just to give me an idea of what it looked like. So I had a massive problem with the wheelbase, which we'll go into when, when I take that shell off. Um, but I also had a problem on the rear with filling the rear arches um, and getting all the stance correct. So just as of this how this sits right now I do need to sand this shell down it's not completely finished and tidy the arches up but I'm very happy now with the wheelbase and especially those rear arches which have filled in nicely now um, so the whole car the whole car itself is looking pretty quick cool now um, I did go away from me I can't remember I think it was seven spoke wheel and I went for the two piece because um, I just think I can get more detail on those but let me just show you what the, what I did to the chassis. Right, let's blast this shell off. And then you can see this beauty. Look at that thing. Look at it. Beautiful. So, the first problem I had, which was my own fault, is when I put all the um, Yeah Racing um, aluminium kit on it, I didn't realise that the rear arms were basically reversible for the um, size of wheelbase you need obviously because I didn't know that I just put it on and sods law I got the incorrect one so it was too short for this wheelbase or too long I can't remember which way around it was I think I think it was too short and obviously it didn't line up with the wheel arches so we fixed that I had to take all the back end apart swap these metal arms over 180 degrees and that gave me the correct wheelbase so that was a bit of messing around. Um, we also finally managed to get the carbon shock towers on front and back, which um, I was struggling with. And how we did that, I got a lot of help off the people on the groups because they've sort of done this before. So I used, okay, see if I can get that, down at the bottom of this tower, that's two spaces either side, which has brought the shock tower this way. And then I've also had to space on these shocks. But now, it's absolutely cock on and it looks great on the rears um, again let's see if I can get this in camera that's two spaces down either side to move the, tower, the carbon shock tower back um, and I well I didn't have to space the shocks they were okay on the rear again they work fine so the whole thing now is full carbon which was really important to me um, I've gone with the softer springs on the back and harder on the front but we might change that over at a later date. Um, the only downfall of using the carbon shock towers is that the body posts that you get in the kit are designed, they've got this square on it that's supposed to go into the plastic. Um, obviously I can't do that. So the at the moment these can move side to side, which is not ideal. But again, this is more of a show car. Um, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. And as I say, it's allowed me to get the shell on which was really important. Oh, and the final thing I did, um, these two piece wheels, you can um, there, you can have a wide stance or a narrow. So the front's are narrow, which you'll see on the silver here. And then the backs, I've got more of the chrome showing. I don't know if you can see that. So that's the front and that's the rear. And what that's allowed is just to fill that rear arch out now. Um, which was perfect really so I'm really happy with that that, that chassis is now 100% finished um, so let's get back to it right so as you can see it's pretty much good to go now to do the cosmetic side of it so this particular car is has two colours 
um, all the um, the bottom of it is done in PS30 uh, and then the rest of it is just Tamiya PS1 white the wing is all white but the wing mounts they're done in polycarbonate they're um, in PS5 I believe which is just Tamiya black um, so the whole purpose of this video is to get the shell cleaned all the window masks in um, masked for the two to two colours and get those two colours in there um, there's a lot going on with this can and even when I've painted it there's still a lot to do um, any of you who followed this series you'll know that um, it's got quite a, a sheet of decals to do so there's a fair bit of work in that now what I'm gonna do because once I've got it painted then we're going to put all the standard decals on including the windows which as you can see have a sort of smoked effect but this is going to have the Tamiya single seated cockpit in there as well uh, and I was figuring out how to do the windows because obviously I'm going to have to cut the decals to get the smoked effect off so you can see in there to see the nice detailed canopy which is not done yet um, but I've decided not to cut them actually when they're in the decal stage I'm going to fit them all and finish the car fully and then when that's done we'll get a really sharp hobby knife and we'll go around the really close to the black lines and then we'll we'll peel all the four i think it's four i don't know what the back one is pretty much yeah yeah all four so it's all um transparent um and then that's pretty much it for this video i think but um what we've got left to do is as i said we've got to paint the tamiya driver cockpit We've also got to install the light buckets into this and then the whole LEDs. But I don't I want to do that kind of last because I'm I will hide and do things with the wires around the canopy. Um, but that that is going to be for another video. So the purpose of this, as I say, is to get this car painted and all the decals on. I'll be happy with that because there's a fair bit of work in that. So um let's get cracking. Right, so for the first process, I'm just gonna sand the arches down, well the full shell. Um it's, it's sort of roughly cut at the moment um, one interesting thing that I have just found out well two actually the instructions want you to take the, the protective film off the shell and fit the decals mainly the, the separation decals from blue to white and I hate doing that I don't like painting a, um, a shell when it's not got the cover on So, and I also noticed the decals are pre-cut as well which will save a lot of time but I'm going to have to cut them out carefully and uh, stick them with some masking tape on the outside to get the correct lines. But I just thought I'd sort of point that out um, before we get going. And the second thing, quickly, is they want the edges of the wing is blue, but it's all done in decals, even over this bit and on the inside, which I'm not going to do either. So I'm going to mask the wing off completely and spray that blue while I'm doing the blue on the actual shell itself. Um, it's a bit more work involved, but it's going to look much better. So um, let's get cracking. Right, so we'll give it a quick sand down, some fine paper. Um, just a little tip that I learned from someone on the group for the wheel arches. If you uh, wrap it around a can of paint and do it like that, it, um, it's quite an easy way of doing it, actually. It works pretty well. I've got it. I've got it pretty good all the way around, but I need to um, finish it when it's painted, um, if there's anything I'm not happy with. Gone over the uh, wing. Um, so next up is to get it all, all the shell and wing in some hot soapy water, and we'll get all the um, grubby fingerprints and everything out of it. Once I've sort of cleaned it off, I've got a new Brillo pad. And I'll just key the inside of the shell with this gently just to put some scratches on so the paint sticks to it. Um, and I'll try to do as much of the wing. I'll key as much of the wing as I can as well. Um, and then we'll get it back and then we'll have a look at the masking. Right, so that's the shell and, well, shell and wing um, all cleaned up. I was hoping I could try to show you the, um, the keying. See those light scratches on the bonnet? That's what that Brillo pad does. Obviously, when you put that first layer of paint in, it covers those instantly. So that's come up well. Um, so now it's the general masking. And I've just realised these are already pre-cut as well. So, Tammy, you're making my life slightly easier on this model. Um, so we'll put the four window ones in first. Um, those, that odd shape there is a rear light bucket. 
and then these squiggles and obviously these are for the headlights now there's two different sets so I'm gonna have to dig the instructions out because one of them will be for the the chrome light bucket and the other one will be for the decal and obviously we're going LED in this model so um, I'll have to make sure I get those correct um, so let's get these on right that's the masking in and that was horrendous that was really bad the front lights because they're in two pieces very difficult I've got them just about cock on but um, it took many attempts front windscreen obviously the sides even the light sorry the, the rear buckets light buckets were uh, pretty horrible but I'm just about there with it well I am there but uh, sorry for that noise but that was terrible so next up as I said I'm gonna mask the wing off just the edges so the all the outside and the inside of the wing will be that blue so I'm gonna have to mask that off down here um, which is pretty straightforward to do only bit I'm worried about there is getting enough masking into this crease here otherwise we'll have a leak and that'll be a pain to clean as well so we'll mask that up um, and then it's just a case of figuring out where this line goes so what I'm gonna to have to do is I have to cut the decals out now and just sort of sit them on the outside on a protective film and then to kind of draw a dotted line around the car to figure out where the um, masking line needs to be so uh, let's get that done right so this is a little bit more involved than I thought because the pre-cut when I cut them out I've got to cut round um, where the cut is if that makes sense so even though I cut them out they are slightly bigger so what I've done is I've cut out the key ones and I've numbered them so I know which numbers they are and what I'm going to have to do now is line it roughly up obviously you've got quite a bit of scope for your masking line but it's just a case of sort of getting it roughly it's something like that and keeping it sort of just make sure this line's parallel and then I'm going to have to get some little bits of masking tape and just tack this down on the outside and go all the way around the car like that and then I'll be able to mask on the inside and then take these back off so it's a fair bit of extra work but I'd still rather do it this way than take all the protective film off and put the decals on first um, I just never like doing it that way so let's get cracking okay so this is the way I'm doing it um, obviously we've just tacked the decals on um, it's, it's one of those things where it's kind of measure five times before you cut because if I get this wrong and I get the lines in the wrong position even though we've got a fair bit of scope um, I don't want to give myself work in the future once it's painted um, so the back one's probably the best one to go by because these wrap around where the number plate goes so I, I get a rough line there and obviously that follows on with the sides front's a little bit more difficult because I've only got this one I don't want to have to tack the sides on but they just they just follow all the way around so I'm happy with where they are so what I'm going to do now I've just put the first bit of masking in there obviously just sort of putting it dead in the middle of where the decal goes so now what I'll do is I'll take the actual decal off this side now and then I can really make sure that this masking sealed on the arches and I'll just go around it until we've got that full line so um, yeah let's crack on with that right we've got our line now I hope <laughs> um, so we've got that all the way around it's, I found it a bit tricky to be honest I've got to be honest it's that worry of getting it wrong and then all the work I'll have afterwards if I get it wrong but anyway we've got the line and it's all sealed so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start I've just started going to build the actual masking up now um, I was going to use a carrier bag and mask it off to save masking tape but uh, let's see how we go because um, obviously we're only spraying the edges so anyway I'll figure it out so um, I'll crack on with the masking now right so after 700 quids worth of masking tape it's finally done um, I decided not to go with bog standard white the thicker masking tape because I just don't trust it and as I said I just don't want to give myself more work afterwards so I really trust the Tamiya masking tape it, 
very rare it ever lets me down and if it does it's my fault not that so um one thing i should have said in hindsight or even although i've followed the instructions but i've 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 gone differently now because i didn't want to take the protective film off I wouldn't have bothered doing all, putting all the mass, the window masks and uh, light masks in. I should have just masked the car because obviously this is all going to need cleaning up again. So anyway, I'm going to get the alcohol wipes out now um, and clean the area that's going to get painted in blue. I'm going to warm the um, PS30 up in some warm water and get the hair dryer ready as well. Um, and then we'll just go very light coats um, to build this up. And actually, I've just remembered, I have also got to mask the wing, so I'll do that now as well. Um, and then I'll come back and hopefully all the blue paint will be on. Right guys, squeaky bum time. So it's had the one very gentle coat on the shell this is. Um, and then second coat was a little bit thicker and it had pretty much covered by then. So I went on a little bit heavier with the third coat. And um, to be fair, it's it's dry to the touch now. It's um, it's come out okay. Let me just turn it over, and get a better idea of what's going on. So that's where we're up to. Obviously now I've really got to make sure this paint's dry before I take the masking off. Taking the masking off is going to be quite a big job because I've got to make sure that I don't disturb the window masks and the light masks. And we've also got to check for any leaks. That could be one, but again, it just might be thick on the tape. But we won't know until we get it finished. Um, so I'm happy with that. The wing, so far, looks pretty good. So far. Um, i got quite a bit of paint in there. So, obviously we won't really know until the masking's off. There is a decal, if this line's no good, there is a decal for the inside. Um, so there, <laughs> it seems a bit pointless doing all this, but I just didn't want the... It's got like a, a long, thin decal that goes across the top, and obviously one on either side. And that's going to lift, I'm sure of it. So I think by spraying it, I don't have to use that decal. So um, yeah, fingers crossed, I'm happy with that. And I've done the um, wing... What do you call it? The wing mounts. Um, they're in PS5 black. So they're just drying now as well. So um, for me, I'm going to leave this a couple of hours. For you, I'm going to be right back. Right, that's all the painting done. Um, obviously those, dead straightforward. I've not taken the protective film off anything yet. I'm liking the spoiler. It's going to need a little bit of trimming. Um, and obviously, again, protective film on. But um, the lines are pretty sharp really glad I painted that um, and then obviously the overall body shell That's had, uh, quite a few coats to be honest um, let's just stick that down so you can see it so that is pretty much that obviously now we've got to let it harden but that goes like that yeah it's taking shape now so again, I'm going to leave this for a couple of hours before I pull the masking out. Um, but um, for you guys, I'll be right back. Right, so that's the shell finished. Well, there's some tweaking to do, a couple of little mistakes, errors. But protective film's off now, and I think it's come up a treat, to be honest, guys. Light buckets, really good. Um, I've got a little bit of work to do with that rear, if you can just see a little bit of paint at the bottom. No biggie. That one's much sharper. Window masks have come out of treat. Um, there's no issues there with those. Um, I'll show you, the wing has come out of treat as well. Obviously protective films off, as I said. Very happy with those lines. So that's come out really well. Obviously that's going to sit like that, that's going to look ace. And then the black brackets for the wing mounts. So what I'm going to do, because obviously the paint's hardening um, and the day's getting on, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a spoiler up and stick it on the car just to, um, well, just because I'm, I'm sad and I'm a geek and I want to see what it looks like. Wow, I am blown away by that. Obviously this is only going to get better. I mean, as soon as the, the 
the um, two tone decals are on all the way around, and obviously the um, window surrounds. It's just really going to look superb. But uh, just as this quick mock up, oh my word, what a thing! That wing looks so cool. I'm loving it. Ride height's not right yet, um, but it's it's pretty much getting there. And that wing, that just looks superb. Really, I'm liking it. It's um, look at that. Oh my word! I love this stage now. What kind of the hard work's done, and it's just you just add a decal at a time, and it just gets better and better. Right guys, I'm going to call it a day at that, um, and I'm, I'm aware this video has dragged on, it's probably well over 20 minutes, um, and if I do all the decals as well, it's going to go for much longer, so I'd rather probably have a day off from it, to be fair, really let the paint harden, and then I can have a look at the decals, but I'm really happy with this two days work to get it to this stage, that it's at that great stage now where every little piece I add to it from now on, it just makes the car look better and better. So in the next video, we'll obviously get the full decals on, we'll put the proper windows on. Um, we'll also do the, the tyre and the wheel detail, because that's very important, that's going to make these wheels really come alive. Um, and once that's on, then we can have a look at um, how we're going to cut the actual windows out, so I'm only left with the frames, so we can get the, um, the Tamiya single seated cockpit in there. Um, and once that's done, on that same video, We'll, we'll have a look at the chrome front and rear light buckets, buckets and the LED kit. So there's still a lot to do with this car. But uh, as I say, I'm, I'm really happy with how it is now. Um, I've been putting this sort of off for a while, but I'm chuffed with that. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And if you do that, smash that notification bell for our weekly videos. But the most important thing as always, guys, Happy ass scene.